Hello everyone, I'm Eureka Gaming and in this video I'll give you the best tips to be a better killing floor 2 Z killing machine. Number 1. You can sprint in any direction. While this might seem obvious, I see a lot of people not doing it. In killing floor 2, you can move in any direction while sprinting, so use this to your advantage. Just make sure you don't sprint backwards into a wall while a flash pound is chasing you. Number 2. Play at the right difficulty. When choosing a difficulty in killing floor 2, it's important to pick the right difficulty for your perk level and skill. The game gives you a level recommendation for each difficulty, so stick to it. Even if you're skilled, if you play at the low level perk, you won't have unlocked all the skills that are useful on higher difficulties. Number 3. Know the maps. This is especially necessary for the higher difficulties. Know where you can camp the earlier rounds, but also the routes to take when you need to start kiting the enemies around the map. Number 4. Be a team player. Killing Floor 2 is a co-op game. It's not about getting the most kills. It's about surviving with your whole team. Don't be Rambo. You are a lot more valuable to your team alive than dead. Try to keep an eye on your team. Is somebody getting chased by a large Z? Go and help. Somebody's low on health and they haven't noticed? Heal them up. Number 5. Share your money. If you got everything you need from the trader in between waves, share your dosh. Preferably with the medic if there is one. Number 6. Play your perk. Every perk in Killing Floor 2 has its own do's and don'ts. Don't go crazy on big Zs with a commando or SWAT perk. Don't go and kill trash Zs with a berserker while there's a flash pound chasing your team. Number 7. Communication. If you can, use a mic. Communicate with your team. What's the strategy? Are you going to go for a camping spot or are you going to roam the map? You spotted a large Z and somebody else hasn't? Let your team know. Number 8. Get the one slot medic pistol. The HM Tech 101 pistol is a medic gun that lets you heal your teammates from a distance. It only takes up one slot in your inventory, so there's no excuse not to have it. Number 9. Balance your team. While this might be difficult if you haven't got a wide variety of leveled perks or playing with pickup groups, try to have a balanced team. Six commandos probably aren't going to cut it. Number 10. Pick up weapons from fallen teammates. When a teammate dies, they drop their last used weapon. If you can, pick it up and drop it at a trader and make sure to let them know. Number 11. Know the Zs. It's important that you know what types of Zs there are and how to kill them. If you're throwing explosive at a scrake, you're doing it wrong. Number 12. Reload your guns before buying ammo at the trader. An offset. Number 13. Leave one Z alive at the end of the wave. Leaving one Z alive will give the team more time to go to the trader and to roam the map for pickups in the map. Number 14. Aim for the head. Always aim for the head as this will do the most damage. If you shoot off a Z's head, don't waste any more bullets as they'll drop on the floor very shortly. These are my top tips for killing floor 2 players, hopefully they'll help you out. If you have any good tips, make sure to leave them in the comments. Thank you for watching, see you next time.